Let us look at another example of the cost volume profit analysis. The Maxus Manufacturing Company manufactures and sells pencils. Currently, 5 million units are sold per year at a selling price of $0.5 per unit. Fixed costs are $900,000 per year and the variable costs are $0.3 per unit. Compute the new operating income for the following changes. A 20% decrease in fixed cost, a 20% decrease in selling price, a 10% decrease in variable cost per unit and a 40% increase in the units sold. So let's say that this building represents the manufacturing facility for Maxus Manufacturing Company. And this company is in the business of manufacturing pencils. Now currently the Maxus Manufacturing Company is selling 5 million units per year of pencils. So this person here, the supplier represents Maxus Manufacturing Company. Whereas this customer here represents all the customers who are buying pencils from Maxus Manufacturing. So currently the number of units being sold is 5 million per year at a selling price of 0.5 dollars per unit. So for each pencil what Maxus Manufacturing is getting is $0.5 per unit. This is the selling price or in short we denote it as small p. Now the fixed cost is $900,000 per year. So let's say this manufacturing facility is on lease and the per year cost is $900,000 and this is the fixed cost and the variable cost is $0.3 per unit. Now other than this fixed cost of the building there is raw material and labor cost to manufacture this pencil and that varies by the number of pencils that we are producing. That's why this is the variable cost. So the variable cost is equal to $0.3 per unit. Now with this information we are being asked to find out the change in the operating income. If there is a 20% decrease in the fixed cost, so this is going down by 20%. A 20% decrease in selling price. So this selling price is also going down by 20%. A 10% decrease in the variable cost per unit. So this is also down by 10% and a 40% increase in units sold. So this unit sold is actually going up by 40%. So basically with all these changes we have to now find out what is the impact on the operating income. So here the information that has already been provided to us is the number of units sold, the selling price, the fixed cost and the variable cost. Now we have to find out the new operating income if there are changes in this data. So in order to find out the impact on the operating income 
let's first find out the operating income with this data. Now we know that operating income is equal to total revenue minus the total cost. Now total revenue is equal to the quantity sold multiplied by the unit selling price and the total cost is the addition of fixed cost and the variable cost. Now again the fixed cost is as it is but the variable cost is the multiplication of the number of units sold which is Q and the unit variable cost. Let's substitute these values. So Q is 5 million. P is 0 0.5 minus fixed cost is 900,000 plus Q again is 5 million and C is 0 0.3. So this is equal to 5 million multiplied by 0.5 is 2.5 million minus 900,000 plus 1.5 million so this is equal to 2.5 million minus 2.4 million and this is equal to hundred thousand dollars so this is the current operating income now we have to find out the impact on this operating income in case there is a 20% decrease in fixed cost twenty percent decrease in selling price ten percent decrease in variable cost and forty percent increase in units sold so basically this fixed cost is going down by 20 percent so that means you have to multiply this by 0 0.8 the selling price is also decreasing by 20 percent so again we'll multiply this by 0 0.8 the variable cost is decreasing by 10% so we will multiply this by 0 0.9 and the number of units sold is increasing by 40% so we will multiply this by 1.4 and with this data we have to find out the new operating income so the formula for the operating income remains the same and let's call this as OI1 so this is equal to Q which is 5 million multiplied by 1.4 so 5 million multiplied by 1.4 P is 0.5 multiplied by 0.8 so this multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.8 minus fixed cost which is 900,000 multiplied by 0.8 so 900,000 multiplied by 0 0.8 plus Q which is 5 million multiplied by 1.4 multiplied by C which is 0.3 multiplied by 0.9 So let's find this out. So let me pull my calculator here. So 5 million 
multiplied by 1.4 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 2.8 million so this is 2.8 million minus 900,000 multiplied by 0 0.8 this is 720,000 so 720,000 plus so 5 million multiplied by 1.4 multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 0.9 so 1.89 million so this is equal to so let's first open the bracket so 720000 plus 1890 2.61 million so 2.8 million minus 2.61 million and this is equal to so 2800000 minus 2610000 so this is 1 90,000 so 190000 so basically if we decrease the fixed cost we decreased the selling price decrease the variable cost and increase the unit sold by 20 20 10 and 40 percent respectively then our operating income is changed to one ninety thousand dollars and as compared to our original operating income of hundred thousand dollars this is an increase of ninety thousand dollars so here actually this thing is the biggest which is the forty percent increase in units sold which is going to contribute in increasing your operating income and of course the fixed cost is being decreased which also contributes to increasing the operating income the selling price is decreasing which contributes to decreasing your operating income but this decrease is not as big as compared to the factors which are contributing to increasing the operating income and also the variable cost is also decreasing so that also helps in increasing our operating income it is very difficult to predict what is going to be the increase or whether it's going to increase just by looking at these numbers but you can sometimes just get a feel by reading the changes as to whether the overall impact is going to be positive or negative.